All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get some hype for the final Seal of Men semi-final of the day. One of these teams is going to be heading on to tomorrow. One of these teams is going home. Jets could put the hippie now. The There's the a shot chance for Elephant. Saved by slipping another one. Goal line stop from the deep. That opportunity. Zimane said to pressure. 1v1 situation, he gets it over the last defender. A 2v1 from Prussia is gonna get, lead, get the lead for the, for the Hibbing Outlaws in game two. Man. Nobody yeah. shot it, and both teams panicking at the same time, not really benefiting one. Slips there, and he's gonna put that one in. Off the backboard, 40 seconds left. A great touch from Popo, and Slip outspeeds everyone, and with 40 seconds, Russia. The pass mid. Popo's there! And Hibbig's gonna equalize with two minutes left. What a play from the Outlaws. She realizes that time Popo is. And St. Cloud had a free ball there, but they are very low. Boost! Slip is gonna tie it up with just 13 seconds left. The no boost misses from St. Cloud. Come out here. It was a misread. The elephant, the Jason one, is going to be there, but he's got no boost. Elephant, a touch out. But what a dunk for Prussia! And Popo is able to put that one in. I don't know how you get this dunk, Prussia, but somehow he gets it. And Popo towards Jason Wolf. Tough bounce for Popo. He's going to miss. If they beat Slip, it's a chance still, Caesar saved by Prussia. Oh, but the follow from Elephant is not there. Jason Wolf to put it back in. Slip has his flip, I believe. Game seven, we have had, or actually the second game seven. But Slip needs a goal. Hibbing needs a goal. I was not ready for that. Five seconds left, Popo to Slip. The Prussia, the whole team. Slip's able to play it there. Prussia waiting for the bang. He's gonna go for the solo play. Prussia to the backboard. Popo there! And they tie it up with only three minutes remaining here as that rolled down so perfectly. Popo knew it the whole time. The goal, it's been executed really well on those roll downs. Popo off the ceiling, and he's gonna get it in with 2.47 left. He shoots it immediately, and that's usually unexpected. Hey, Cloud needs a goal. 10 seconds left, seven seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. They need to keep it up. Slip is gonna drop it down in Hibbing. He's going on to the CLMN Grand Final. So CLMN Grand Final, Minneapolis Magic, Hibbing Outlaws. Yeah, that was almost an own goal of epic proportions. There was like three wrong touches there for the Minneapolis side, but they are able to survive. Now Slip gets the reset off the crossbar and, and Slip. Slip, my word. Like a grease pig, he slides through the defense. Gets to double tap the boot. Slow enough. Four players in the corner. Prussia tried to win a 50. What? Prussia, you can't do that, my guy. That's a great dunk there by Prussia. Definitely looked like he had nowhere to go. With all three defenders in front of him, but Bomber just doesn't get in front of that. Gets with phenomenal read. The pinch that went down the field. Both teams continuing. There's a back and forth. The Magic don't seem phased. Oh, Bomber just couldn't get there in time. The flex in off him. And I was speaking about team plays. We got to get them. We got to get the Outlaws closer together and Slip, he follows that one to just kind of... Double commit there, a bump as well. That's going to go out towards mid. Slip comes in for the clear. Well done by him to be a little bit too far forward, actually. Almost as he puts the shot on net towards wow. the back post. Coast to coast for Slip. And it's 2 nothing again. Slip doing his best and just gets a feathery light touch over the... Deep. You know, you find a goal here, there's a good chance you win oh, this one with demo, Outlaws. Popo. He decides to back up. Shot on... And I was gonna say save, but Slip just puts that extra oomph into his shots. And it just breaks through the defense. Because then that allows you to have your open shooter just take an easy shot, take a free one. 
or, you know, yourself plays. Now Papo's going to have a chance here. Goes with a double touch. Papo showing he's the boss. This is his field. And just a great read. You can see him chased out with the boost. He knows what he's doing. Out of his own zone, but again, it just it's sent downfield into a not great spot out towards mid. That's not a great touch there. So Dice will get the 50. Grape has a chance. Prussia gets the save on that one. Didn't have a chance at this one, but just a little bit too far away. Finally, we see all three Hibbing members back in their own net. That's the first time it's happened. And they get a counter goal. And slip from way downtown. He's uncontested. Bob is just there so late. As the clock winds down, it's on the goal line. Save doesn't go through. They've been often imitated. They'll never be duplicated. It's the world of the outlaws. So the Hibbing Outlaws, a dominant performance there. Four straight shutouts. Seven, actually, no, excuse me, nine to nothing across those four games.